Dr. Sewell here again. So we're gonna be talking a little bit about hyphen today. Yes, hyphen. A lot of people really find it difficult explaining or using hyphen properly, especially when we type. Or of course, um, texting is <laughs> the new typing and we, we really fail miserable at texting. So I'm gonna go into detail to talk a lot about hyphen and you know the different rules, the different options that you have when you use a hyphen when to use it, how to use it. Um, this is definitely useful, not only for my non-English speakers, but also for my native speakers, because you know we all have difficulty with the language at some point, and I think this is a very common issue. So let's get right into it. Okay, so hyphen. We use hyphen in general when we have what we call a compound adjective or compound words. So when you have two or more words that come together to form one or a thought or a phrase, then we consider it to be compound. So let's look at some examples. So we have off campus. For example, I can say an off campus apartment. So the general rule is you hyphenate when you have two or more words when they come before a noun or any noun that they modify. So for example, in this case, you have apartment. Apartment would be the noun. And what, it's, what modifies the noun is off campus. So we can say an off-campus apartment, so you have the hyphen between off and campus. Another example, state of the art, design. So design would be the noun when you have state of the art. So state of the art is a complete phrase or a complete um, expression, which is why we consider it to be a compound adjective because it's describing the noun, it modifies the noun. So, other examples. Whenever you have a compound adjective that follows a noun, a hyphen is absolutely not necessary. So unlike the other example that I just did, in this case, like for example, if you say the apartment is off campus, it's different from saying an off campus apartment. So the apartment comes before the expression off campus. Therefore, in the reverse, because the noun comes before the adjective that it, that's modifying it, then we tend to use, we tend to not use a hyphen. So if you look at the two examples so we can compare them, an off-campus apartment versus the apartment is off-campus. Now, another rule, the adverb very, we like to use that word a lot. I'm very happy, I'm very sad, I'm very comfortable, very. It's a very common expression. So if you have the adverb very, and then you have adverbs that end with ly, they are usually not hyphenated. So what does that mean? So the very elegant watch, you have hyphen between very and elegant. A lot of people tend to use this expression, not necessarily with watch, but it could be other um, you know, nouns that you're modifying. But whenever it ends with ly or if it's very, then you cannot use the hyphen. Now, the finely tuned watch, it's another example. The watch is finely tuned because it's L-Y, you do not use a hyphen. So these are other examples that are a little bit different. So before I just mentioned that you cannot use the hyphen when you have words that end with L-Y or words or expressions that have very. Now, if you look at some exceptions or what we consider to be exceptions because people tend to confuse them a lot for example if i say the friendly looking dog now you would hyphenate between friendly and looking because that expression requires hyphenation and also because the ly words that i'm using are not considered adverbs so like for example a family owned cafe family owned it's not an expression that has an adverb so even though these Two examples end with ly they go contrary to what I just said because they're not adverbs okay now in other examples so we use hyphen when we talk about years you know when we talk about months or period of time so for example we say we have a two-year-old child or I have a two-year-old child so two-year-old is a complete expression and you put the hyphen in both spaces two dash year dash old so the child is two years old is the opposite of what I just mentioned so you don't need to say or to put a hyphen in that case because child comes before so the child is two years old so the the rule is you use hyphens when you're writing about years or months or any period of time 
unless the period is in a plural form. So in this case, like I just gave you, that's a singular form. So we have a two-year-old child, it's one child. Now, if I said we have a two-year-old child and I put the hyphen between two and year, then that will be incorrect, okay? So without the second hyphen, the sentence is about an old child. So, for so remember, you use hyphens when you're writing about years, months, or any other time period unless the time period that you're referring to is in a plural form. It makes a difference, okay? Now, we also hyphenate compound numbers. So any numbers that start between 21 and 99, you hyphenate. So for example, 32 children. So 32, you need a hyphen. You know, $1,221, you put a hyphen as well. Now, fractions. So fractions, of course, yes, we like to think, oh my God, it's math, we don't need to. Yes, whenever you're writing fraction or you know numbers that you literally spell out, you definitely need hyphen as well. So for example, more than one third of students like to study. So one third as an expression needs a hyphen or more than a third of students like to study. Notice the difference, more than a third is different from one third so a third is the same thing but it's the way you say it or you know the expression you choose which makes a difference if you would use a hyphen or not so whenever you say one third it's the same thing as writing one over three then you definitely want to use that expression as a fraction and which is why it's required for you to put a hyphen cool or there are a lot more examples um to hyphen I will definitely post some more. Keep your comments coming. I definitely like to read them so I can understand, um, you know, what people's needs are. But definitely, um, the rules for hyphen it's it's an extensive list of, of of rules. So see you in my next episode. Look out for the other examples with hyphen, and I hope this was helpful. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.